It's time now for our Make Me Your Mayor feature today, and we'll be speaking to the Freedom Front Plus mayoral candidate for Cape Town, Mr. Leonard Max. Now, he was the Western Cape Police Commissioner between 1999 and 2003 before becoming provincial leader of the Independent Democrats. After expulsion from the ID, he joined the Democratic Alliance, and Max joins us live now from Cape Town to tell us why he is the man for the job. Mr. Max, thank you for your time, and uh, good morning to you. Well, of course, the local government elections are uh, coming up very quickly, 1st November being the date. Why are you the man to be the mayor of Cape Town? You know, Cape Town got, uh, good morning. Uh, Cape Town got uh, very uh, huge challenges with regards to crime, as well as service delivery. And I think I can use my skill in crime prevention and crime combating uh, to ensure that our people become more safe in, in Cape Town and the rest of the West Cape as well. And uh, I uh, acquired uh, managerial experience, which I can use uh, to manage uh, the city of Cape Town and to ensure our uh, taxpayers in the Western Cape are more respected and that they get the services they deserve. Where do you think is the leadership gap or vacuum within Cape Town at the moment, Mr. Max? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think that, um, you know, we, we need to to focus more on, on crime, but the problem is uh, they only throw policing to, to the crime problem. And we need much more than that. We need other departments to come to the party and they have to contribute as well. We cannot depend on policing uh, the only, as the only uh, mechanism to address uh, the crime and the violence in the West mm -hmm. and the rest of the country as well. And therefore, I think that we have to shift our focus we have to enforce what we've got, we evaluate our strategies, and we complement where it is necessary. And I think uh, really that uh, the Western Cape, although the DA tried their, uh, their utmost best, um, with me under the auspices of uh, the Freedom Front Plus, we can do better, and I think the people of the Western Cape deserves better. And, and with that being said, I mean, this is a question that I often ask, you know, mayoral candidates on the show, um, you know, around uh, lack of service delivery in these communities. The complaint and the concern usually being that politicians only know about communities when it's time to get a vote. But as soon as, of course, they've been voted for in power, they know it to be seen. Hence, you've seen some of these protests around lack of service delivery. What do you think you'll be doing differently as a politician who plans to be in tune with the community? Yes, uh, thank you for that question. I must say, you know, I grew up in a very uh, poor uh, circumstances. And uh, I, I also uh, lived in sheds. And I left school at the age of 14 years. And I had to work damn hard to get where I am today. And my mother died when I was nine years old. So I know these circumstances. And when the people... Of, the, of Cape Town voted me in as the mayor. They will have somebody who will carry their concerns at his, at his heart, uh, a person who is always available for them, a person who cares, who knows where he comes from, and he will not be an occasional mayor. He will be a mayor for the people for 367 a year and for the full five years and will, will seek another mandate. Mm. With that being said, are you confident of a majority win, of a, of a clean sweep? I mean, I'm asking this because we also saw the numbers uh, turn out uh, during the voter registration weekend, not enticing at all, the concern being around, you know, the new voters only amounting to 400,000, but also that youth vote uh, lacking seemingly in the uh, voter registration drive. What, what's your take on this? We as the Freedom Front are in to win it. And uh, since the announcement on, uh, on Wednesday, I received an overwhelming support of colored, white people, and black people in the community, which pro uh, predominantly the majority of the, of the communities in the Western Cape. And I'm certain that we are going to make a huge difference in the, in the city of Cape Town. And I don't foresee anyone for the GA more than 50%. Whilst we as the uh, uh, Freedom Front Plus are present and we will get more support and the people of the Western Cape already, you know, uh, Helen Zeller uh, told me when I 
actually told them when they were seeking the black vote in the, uh, in the Western Cape in the country and to spend more money on the black vote, I warned them. I said to them, I understand that we must get the black vote, but we cannot neglect the white and the colored vote, which put us in power in the Western Cape. And her response was that the colored and the white people don't have an alternative other than to vote for the DA. But the colored and the white people in 2019 already showed that there is an alternative and the Freedom Front is the alternative. And I'm confident that on mm. the 1st of November, more people will make use of the alternative and the solution for the problems of the uh, Cape Town Metro. And that is the Freedom Front Plus. All right, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Freedom Front Plus mayoral candidate for Cape Town, Mr. Lynette Max.